So hey guys, um, Ryan Johnson has just confirmed, I guess that, or I guess it was a couple of days ago, that he, the director of um, The Last Jedi, which is supposed to be really awesome, or else he wouldn't have got this, is going to um, do a trilogy of Star Wars films. Nobody really knows what it is, so like, I'm probably going to give some of my ideas. In warning, I've never um, played the Old Republic video game, so like, I don't... I don't know if it's characters that we've met before in anything, or any um, planets like Tatooine or Coruscant. <coughs> Pardon me, I have a little bit of a cold. Anywhere. So, like, yeah. So, one of the ideas that I totally think is probably going to happen is the Old Republic. Like, a bunch of fans want it. Which probably could lead up to um, the possible rumored Yoda standalone that they're probably going to work for with um, after, possibly after Obi-Wan Kenobi. Or it could even be um, the Obi-Wan thing. But then again, we've seen so much of him. And it's not going to be involved around the Skywalkers or probably not even include it. So I don't really know about the Obi-Wan thing because it would... Probably have to include Luke at some point. Maybe even a cameo or something from Darth Vader. Maybe even, um, I don't know. I've said this before in a video, but Millie Bobby Brown could be the perfect Leia. So, like, if they somehow went <coughs> to her planet. Maybe that could happen too, and that she could be like a younger Leia, which could even lead to a remarried Leia film maybe in the future. Like um, Ava DuVernay from A Wrinkle in Time, or Patty Jenkins who is doing Wonder Woman and Wonder Woman 2, and maybe a few other Marvel movies, or DC, or even like Wonder Woman 3, whatever. Maybe she'll, one of those two will do the Leia film. Those are like the top two female directors out there at the moment that I could probably think of. You know, there's... I'm sure a bunch of other people, but I would totally love to see like, Patty Jenkins do a Leia with Millie Bobby Brown. She's um eleven in Stranger Things. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that beforehand in a Carrie Fisher related um video, but I don't know what to think really. Could it be Obi Wan Kenobi, or is it gonna be somebody else? Pardon, <laughs> that's gonna do <coughs> Obi Wan Kenobi because that one hasn't officially officially been confirmed yet, or is it? Like, they could keep it a secret, which is why there's not going to be a celebration in 2018, which kind of sucks. But they probably, like, have, I don't know, they probably for sure, like, have an announcement or title for the Ryan Johnson first one that they're going to do, because it's a three trilogy, I believe. Nobody knows for sure if he's going to do all three of them, or is he just going to do the first one? Sorry, I'm a bit, like, a little cold, so, like, sorry if I, like, don't sound good. I'll probably watch it so I cut some of the parts out. <coughs> but. <coughs> yeah, is it? Like, they probably have, like I said, the Ryan Johnson first one maybe announced, like, a title or something for 2019 Celebration. For sure, maybe a trailer, teaser, whatever, for episode 9. I almost called that The Last Jedi, but I'm kind of tired because I've been sick since Friday, you guys. So, um, bear with me. And... <laughs> yeah, or could it be like, Obi, and they'll probably be like, show an Obi-Wan thing. Just to, like get people hyped up. Because you and McGregor wasn't at a celebration this year. In August or July, I believe it was. August? Or was it May? Because... It's 40 years from the movie, and they did a 40-year celebration from the original 1977. 40 years, guys. And it's probably going to be around for much longer. Like, I was watching a clip on um, Star Wars, the official YouTube channel. They had an interview with Kathleen Kennedy. Said so the next 10 years, so we're looking at 50 years of Star Wars at least. And maybe more for sure, definitely. Like, the cast is still somewhat young, like, um, the new players, no offense to, like, Mark Hamill or somebody who would be, like, probably in their 70s. And if Harrison Ford does come back, 
somewhere or another. He'll probably be like in his 80s if they um, continue somehow 10 years later. Like, is Luke still going to be living? Nobody knows for sure about that either. Because in that same interview with Kathleen Kennedy, which is up on that Star Wars channel that I was just talking about, she said specifically, Ray, Poe, Finn, I believe, and BB-8 are going to have stories. But what about Luke? What about Leia? Because like, they could always recast. Even though I personally don't, don't see that. Especially like right now. Like, Come on. In a couple of weeks or so, you officially get to say she died a year ago. Like, I'll probably go and see that film on um, her anniversary, like I did last year. Like, my friend and me went to go see um, Rogue Run last year. I went to go see, like, uh, the day Debbie Reynolds, her mom, died in a couple of days before that, too. Because usually when the Star Wars film comes out, I want to see it, like, more than twice. Especially, like, if I'm one of those people that usually pays attention to, like, a certain part of the movie. Like, I have a few crushes on a few Star Wars actors, for example. Um, I'm not going to mention that, but Adam Driver, currently, even though he scared the crap out of me at one time in um, The Force Awakens. Like, I hadn't... I used to be I'm scared of Darth Vader's voice in the originals, and I kind of didn't know what to expect, really, for <coughs> The Force Awakens. But yeah, I mean, my, my, I went to go see... Rogue One, which is a pretty awesome review. I think I have a review up on my channel and I'll pro in like a few days prior to The Last Jedi. I'll probably um, do something related to The Force Awakens. But yeah. And I also wonder if Episode 9 or whatever will also have Force Ghosts. Because I believe they're supposed to like tie up the series somehow during episode eight or nine or maybe half and half like just think about this could two force ghosts that we know somehow reveal Ray's parentage like could it really be Obi-Wan Kenobi and I don't know Yoda for example or even a good side and a bad side like Vader if he can force ghost again I'm sure he can after Return of the Jedi even though Hayden Christian was sin was um, digitally remastered, I believe. But yeah, could you and McGregor like be a CGI version, or would they even do a Malkin? Sir Malkinus? Could they do either one of both of them or something, or even similarly, just Hayden Christian sin, but pull off a rogue one, like make him look terribly burned, like they did also for. Turn of the Revenge of the Sith <coughs> and pull up some awesome CGI effects to make you and McGregor look a little bit older or kind of in between two. Because obviously Obi Wan Kenobi is probably going to come also in 2019, just like they're doing kind of this year. Like if you think in December, Last Jedi, a couple of months later, you have, um, can I call it Stupid Solo? Because I don't think he looks like Harrison Ford at all. But you have to really see the film, which I'll probably go and see. Um, my recent ex-boyfriend, I don't know if I told you guys this, we broke up like two weeks ago. And he bought me a Carrie, I bought myself a Carrie Fisher shirt as Princess Leia from, I think it was episode four she looks like she's in. So I'll probably wear it out just to pay my respects for The Last Jedi. And I'm probably going to cry too, which also explains why I feel like I'm going to lose my voice. <coughs> And he recently, like the last time I saw him, he just bought me like a Han Solo shirt and it says, I fly solo. So I'll probably go and wear that for Stupid Solo, which comes out like a day right before my birthday. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't know what else I would like them to show. I wonder when they're going to even like show some of this footage. Like when are they going to show Han Solo, you guys, like the trailer, I mean. Or even a slight teaser. But I guess I'll have to um, keep up to Star Wars News Net. Who um, give awesome Star Wars articles out pretty much daily or whenever something comes up. And then they like, write it in their own words. Um, but yeah. 
So please like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. I'll probably be back later. One of my favorite um, horror films is getting remade, so I'm probably gonna like uh, fan cast it. Maybe even I'm redoing it one because I think I've got like two people that I am, was watching YouTube videos and I was like, oh yeah, they could be awesome people for some of the roles. Maybe three people. But yes. So please like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. Come on. Share it as well if you guys want. For more active daily content, I try to be um, as active as possible. Read my boat section too. Like I may do um dares or some like, like somehow make this go live. Like directly so that, you know I can like see you guys comments or whatever down below. Sort of like streaming and then yeah or take viewers questions whatever after our segment. <coughs> like I'll probably do like an ask me anything type one and then yeah. Just to like get the ball rolling, and I'll pro and then like if somebody's like um what's my favorite movie I'll probably do a review on that one. If I haven't done it before, like I get a huge ton of movies that I'll probably um review because I may be giving some of them away eventually. Just to like earn some money or whatever. So yeah, I guess.